And it's just like frustrating sometimes because it feels like you've done all everything you can and then when you go in, um, you feel like, wow, that was kind of waste. Alrighty guys, alrighty, what's going on? We are doing a little bit of cooking today on Easy's cooking show. I'm just kidding guys, now we're just going to cook up some egg whites here. Just the, uh, go to classic, oh shit, let me get that camera real quick. <sighs> got all sorts of different things here. We've got, uh, meal plates, you know how guys, oh, can't show the elk, but, uh, anyways. Uh, we got the meal prep in the back there. Uh, gotta cook some more. It looks like someone's slacking on cooking, but anyways. For the last meal, uh, just the cage-free organic liquid egg whites right there, baby. These will get you gains, like no one's business. Um, yeah, there ain't nothing to it, really. Let's see. Let's go for a bat. Oh! We went a little over. One foot ounce. Probably ain't gonna kill me. Just eight fluid ounces, so nothing too crazy. And, uh... A little secret hack that I've been doing is adding these summer wrist veggies that you guys have previously seen. I'm cooking all the time. Just sprinkle it in there like the, some magic fairy dust and uh, that'll get the job done. I think it's a great way to uh, get some veggies in and, you know, easily, without a doubt, you ask any, oh, mother, you ask any uh, bodybuilder or person that eats for a living. Uh, you know, consistency is the main thing, right? So, but it can get boring eating just plain egg whites. So, adding some veggies or whatever, uh, yeah, veggies or fruit if you're into that kind of thing. I don't know, fruit goes well with uh, egg whites here, but uh, just anything to make your meal a little bit more interesting, especially in the off season when it's pretty monotonous as I previously went over in the last video. And, uh, yeah, just add some flavor, so a little bit of color, and it, it's good for your minerals, and if you aren't already getting those in. And then, obviously, you guys noticed I'm wearing the, uh, the blue light blocking glasses, and, uh, these right here, uh, big placebo effect. Um, you know, cameraman behind here doesn't believe these work, but, uh, I promise you, like, within 30 minutes of putting these on, my eyes start getting tired and lazy and I mean I, I don't know if they really work or not I haven't really done research but I think they work um, you know every time I upload one of these videos like it's late night like about time when I'm going to bed and I don't want to be staring at screens for too long you know before bed and uh, these just help kind of reduce that and um, yeah just kind of help set the mood and vibe but hey it's you know part of you know, preparation is everything, you know, from your nutrition to, you know, hydration to everything leading up to, uh, the workout, but even preparation for bed, you know, setting the mood, you know, trust me, like, you don't want to do a hundred push-ups and then go, go to bed, you know, your heart rate's going to be up, it's going to take a, I mean, you might be tired, so you might just gas out right then and there, but I find key to my sleep has always been, you know, warm shower, you know, lather up, you know, linen cloth uh clothes you know these aren't really linen cloth but you know you know you know what i'm saying you know i'm too i'm not rich enough for that you know i'm not bougie enough for that but yeah just kind of setting the mood for things so preparation pre even prep uh, preparation for bed has been big in my routine and i think has helped me fall asleep faster like when i hit that bed like i'm usually asleep within five to ten minutes uh that's pretty fast <laughs> but I'm, it's kind of just recapping my workout for the day. Um, hit leg, leg day today, baby. And, uh, whew, it was a hard one today. Um, I've been lifting later, and, uh, so, I used to go, like, immediately after work, like, <clears throat> 15 minute drive from work, and then <clears throat> lift, uh, like, 5.15, right? And then, now I've been working out, like, 
7, 6.30, come home, kind of get ready for the gym, but not really, just get all the normal stuff ready, um, and then, yeah, just get all the stuff ready, but then I'd go take like a 30, 45 minute nap, depending on how, how exhausted I was feeling that day, obviously set a timer, uh, I learned that the hardware, else you just fall asleep, and then you wake up at weird times, and then your sleep schedule is all fucked up, and then you have a terrible day. So don't don't do that. Um, nah, it won't really mess you up too much, but you just don't want to be sleeping for more than 30, 40 minutes, you know. Uh, so quick 30 minute, 40 minute power nap, um, and then uh, yeah, just get all my stuff ready. Drink uh, 20, 30 fluid ounces with the pre workout mix, and then slide on over to the gym uh and um yeah, and then hit my lift so today was leg day and that would and then those workouts would feel those workouts feel amazing um yeah it's a little bit later yeah uh i have less time at, uh, before bed but the lifts have just been amazing at that time and there's less people typically at the gym which i mean it's like whatever main issue is every time i hit legs all the leg equipment just gets taken up. Um, like I'm waiting 20 minutes for some stuff, and I'm like, okay, you know, this is getting a little ridiculous. But anyways, I hit legs, uh, some deadlifts, um, hamstring curls. Like I said, really just trying to focus on that posterior chain, build those up, um, and just the. It was hard because like I didn't exactly have. Uh, I wasn't feeling my strongest today. That's for sure. Um, so it felt like the weights were really heavy, um, when typically, and the form was good, it just, I was like, holy crap, this is, you know, when, like, last week, and it can always, like, as opposed to last week when it's not feeling, like, where I'm just, like, repping it out, you know, and that's how it goes sometimes, um, and you can't let that affect you, and it's just, like, frustrating sometimes, because it feels like you've done all, everything you can, and then when you go in, um, you feel like, wow, that was kind of waste. But it's not, you know. Um, not every workout is going to be a 10 out of 10. You're going to have an 8s or 9s and sometimes even 7 out of 10 workouts. And that's what I had today. I had um, probably around an 8. Um, pump was good later in the workout. But the beginning of the workout did not feel, you know, spectacular great. Um, but overall, an 8 out of 10 workout today. And just wrapping up the day, eating this last meal, and uh, I'm ready to hit the hay, man. Like, I'm exhausted, I'm tired, and I'm ready to get a full eight hours of sleep. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Um, please subscribe, like the video. Uh, just a little food vlog today, guys. So, catch you in the next one.